anybody knows. We've helped so many people over the years, we've probably even helped someone you know. The Law Brothers are available 24-7, nights and weekends. They never stop fighting to get you the money you deserve. Everybody knows that. We're the Law Brothers. Call 1-800-222-2222. Now at noon, he is not dropping out. That is the message from a defiant President Biden as calls for him to step aside, grow louder. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Several high-profile Democrats, including Governor Gavin Newsom, weighed in on the political future of President Biden and his chances for re-election come November. And now a prominent local congressman is pulling his support. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter live now in our news center with the details. Kareen? Lou and Glenn, California Democratic Congressman Mike Levin is now publicly pushing for President Biden to step aside as a nominee. Levin says that there is a lot at stake here, but Congressman is also in a close re-election race of his own. Pressure is mounting for the president, but Mr. Biden is pushing back. If there was any question as to whether President Biden would pull the plug on his re-election bid, I'm determined on running. He tried to put that speculation to rest, at least for now. Do you think our democracy is under siege based on this court? I've got to finish this job. I've got to finish this job because there's so much at stake. The president, in his first news conference since the debate on Thursday, pulled out all the stops to silence critics on whether he's competent well, to serve evening. another term. Mr. Biden has faced intense pressure to step aside for a new Democratic nominee, given his age and also concerns about his cognitive skills. While fielding what tough questions from the press, the president Trump mistakenly Trump. called Trump his vice president and earlier in the day referred to Ukraine's leader, Volodymyr Zelensky, as President Putin. While addressing reporters, on on NATO's support for Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. More than a dozen House Democrats have called for the president to bow out of the race, but some are still sticking by the commander in chief. Let Joe Biden continue uh, to make his own decisions about his future. He's earned that right, and I am going to give him that much respect. If he decides to change his mind later on, then we would respond to that. Still, some ask at what cost. The cash flow into the Biden campaign has taken a hit. The New York Times reporting the fallout from the president's poor debate performance and subsequent public appearances have been substantial. Some major Democratic donors have reportedly informed the largest pro-Biden super PAC, Future Forward, that they'll freeze about 90 million in pledge donations if Biden stays in the race. Another blow for the president, more celebrities continue to speak out against his re-election bid. Actress Ashley Judd is the second high-profile celebrity to pen an op-ed this week, pushing for the president's exit. Judd wrote in USA Today, the Democratic Party must not delay in thanking President Biden and supporting a talented, robust Democrat to be our party's nominee. We do not have another day for distraction or division among ourselves. One of Mr. Biden's biggest supporters, Governor Gavin Newsom, told CBS News Today that he's all in for the president and that he doesn't pay too much attention to those daily requests to dive into the presidential race. How do you handle all of that? I, I, I just, it, 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 delete, 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 delete. Uh, thank you, delete. Uh, and rinse, repeat. Um, I'm all in, no daylight. You never even engage in it privately? No, I don't. Abs absolutely not. And President Biden has a big interview ahead. That'll happen on Monday with NBC News, where he'll face more pressing questions about his future. That's also the first day of the Republican convention. That's the latest in the News Center. I'm Kareen Winter. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you, Kareen. Breaking news out of New Mexico, where the Alec Baldwin manslaughter trial has been put on hold until Monday. So Jurors have been sent home for the day. This comes as the judge considers a defense motion accusing the state of burying evidence. The motion was related to ammunition that a so-called Good Samaritan hand delivered to a crime scene technician after the trial of Rust Armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed Baldwin fired, Baldwin fired the fatal shot that killed a cinematographer on the set. He says the gun misfired and has always maintained it was supposed to be filled with blanks. Targeting people in the safety of their